Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Monterino, back for my post-market wrap-up for today, Friday, December 8, 2017. What a week. What a crazy week, people. And before we even get started, let, let me say this. As all of you know, I have written to the SEC, the CFTC, and several major news outlets regarding the what really is public knowledge now with regard to the the fixing or rigging of the gold and obviously silver markets. I have not heard back from anyone as of late. Nobody. None of these institutions or, or news agencies, they don't want to get involved here. This is where, this is our next step here to try to I don't know, start some momentum here, start some noise. You see behind me right here? F hashtag fake markets. Let's start flooding, flooding all of our social networks using this hashtag. I started it today. I posted several things out there, the London Gold Fix, uh, a bunch of other things as well. And you can make this really simple. For example, let's say you want to post a comment to one of my videos, this one in particular, start it off with this hashtag. Um, so people could start reading these things on, uh, everywhere and share these videos, get them out there. Look, I would love to start a movement here. It's got to start somewhere. It's unbelievable. I mean, really, people, it's this Wikipedia has a page about the gold fixing. It's common public knowledge. So let's try to do something. If these institutions and agencies don't want to do anything, well, maybe if we can generate enough noise. I, I don't even know if this is going to work, but if you care about this, if and you and you should, even if you don't hold one ounce of gold or one ounce of silver, because we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat, and you know my my feeling on this that we are responsible for each other. So let's take an action and take you an extra two seconds to start using this hashtag on everything you can find. Start getting it out there. Let's do this. All right, look. Let's go back to what happened today in the markets. Today, the S&P 500 hit a new record high. Now, apparently, <laughs> we got some good economic news today with regards to these jobs numbers. Meanwhile, are you sitting down for this? The small cap stocks finished with an absolutely fractional gain. Now, you would expect if we got some really good economic news that small caps would have been bid up. Small caps were actually down at one point during the day. You understand? It's all fake. It's all rigged. And the, the confederacy of dunces, you know who they are. All they want to talk about is new, new record highs. They don't want to talk about anything real. Uh, they're part of the problem. You know that. Um, so let's try, let's try to make a difference here, people. It's absolutely true. You know, just talking about these markets real quick, let me, let me go over this. So today, the S&P 500 hits a new record high, but overall, these markets did nothing the entire week. They were pretty much were at the flat line. And, and you know, I covered how I traded this entire week with you. I told you what positions I was holding, what I was doing with them, and let me just put another perspective on this for you. So overall, these markets here did nothing for the entire week, pretty much at the flat line. But because I was kind of bobbing and weaving out of specific positions, which I told all of you about at the time I was doing it, I pulled out an almost 20% gain. 20 freaking percent, almost 20% gain for this week uh, in a market that did nothing. I mean, that says a lot in my book. So um, this is kind of what you can expect, honestly, at your professional level. And professional meaning, this is all I do. I sit here in front of my computer screen all day so I can get in and out of positions at, at the most opportune times. And me, personally, I'm not a very aggressive trader. There are some people that are massively aggressive and probably could have magnified those gains a lot, but I like to take a more conservative, conservative approach. 
by doing that I'm buying more or less in the money calls and or puts depending on how I, I feel a particular equity is going to go and I always buy out two or three months this is a conservative approach so doing that uh, I mean there are so many ways to play this to play your trades it's frankly off the charts um, and, and I've spoken about this there's no one specific way that is the best above anything else to play these things um, anyway but I just want to get this out here so you can understand if you're trading at the professional level what you can expect as a relatively conservative trader I know some of you out here probably laughing you probably did one or two hundred percent but that's that's fine with increased you know aggression comes with increased risk I don't want to take on that kind of risk I really don't I don't need to um, I like my more or less conservative approach this way you can also again just bear with me a minute maximize your gains minimize your losses and that's what this is all about people looking for opportunity now I want to talk about Bitcoin here now I kept getting emails all day today from people and I got some very disturbing news and I want to share that with you and I actually wrote a small post on Steemit about this it seems that yesterday while some of you were buying at the high okay you know sometimes that's what happens and I'm not saying Bitcoin is not going to recover here I'm nervous about these futures that are going to start trading Sunday I am nervous about this I really am not gonna lie I'm out of Bitcoin you all know that you know how I played it I made an over 300 percent profit in Bitcoin in a matter of just a couple of months it's insane okay um, it seems that some of you out here have written to me saying that you could not sell your Bitcoin last night in other words you couldn't get into the exchanges you had a lot of problems with them and a couple of you are furious one of you is a lawyer who wrote to me you actually want to start a class action lawsuit more power to you sir um, you know I understand that something's wrong when you can't get in there and sell when these exchanges are so overwhelmed there's something wrong I'll tell you something else where there's something wrong with regard to the Bitcoin issues these exchanges and a lot of you wrote to me about this and it was actually covered today on CNBC are getting different prices from different exchanges some of you have I don't even understand why you would do this but have cash in different exchanges okay maybe it's some kind of a strategy I have no idea I have one that's coinbase but apparently you're getting different prices this is troubling to me the fact number one the fact that you couldn't sell it at, you know to get to maximize that gain uh, and the fact that you're getting a different price on a different exchange that is a red flag to me both of these are red flags to me for now um, until I, I see what happens here with futures because this is where this is going to start to get interesting people um, I am not considering getting back into Bitcoin here and I want to watch it for a while again Bitcoin probably isn't going anywhere and I'll get back in when I feel more comfortable and more safe you understand I think the way that I trade as more or less a conservative trader for me this works this is what I do I feel comfortable with it I feel like I know what I'm doing you know with Bitcoin there and you know I wrote articles on it I covered it when it hit 28 I covered it when it hit 25 I told all of you where it was going and I wrote that way very nicely I'm not gonna say that I didn't have some <laughs> some nervousness a little butterflies in my stomach every day very volatile it's kind of one of the reasons why I got out here I don't like this volatility and the fact that some of you apparently are having issues selling it yesterday I don't know how this played out for you today I don't like that whatsoever all right so um, I actually wrote down a few things I wanted to go oh how about this one you're gonna like this one I usually never write anything down but my brain is kind of scattered today next Wednesday I'm gonna be on live with Lynette Zhang um, I think it's 2:30 Pacific Standard Time so uh, go check out uh, coffee with Lynette and I, I'll be on that show 
we're going to converse. I, I, I'm, I am very excited about this, I'll be honest with you. I think it's going to be epic. I can only imagine what's going to come out of our mouths as we're talking back and forth here, people. So keep your eyes out for that. So let me see what else I needed to cover. Um, so the, again, I covered what happened here with the stock market. It didn't do much this entire week. I talked about trading. I talked about this whole issue with Bitcoin. Metals people is off the charts. This whole market is off the charts. Again, let me let me just re say what I said before. So we got good economic news today. Well, why did the small caps barely move? They did nothing. Okay? Hashtag fake markets. Start using this everywhere. Hashtag fake markets. Uh, every one of your social networks start spreading it. Every comment you write, lead out with Hashtag fake markets. You know, maybe, you know, I got a lot of followers. Maybe together we can start generating some new, some kind of interest in this. I don't know, maybe it'll go nowhere. But unless we start or try, we'll never know. We will just never know. All right. Um, with that said, again, um, you know how I traded this week. I, ha I did not enter another position. I want to, I want to stay, keep my head clear for this entire weekend. I will talk about all of this come Monday and we'll, I'll talk about brand new positions, uh, how we can capitalize on this market uh, and, 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 and again, help, help me and help yourself and help everybody by trying, at least trying to expose the absolute faking that, fakery that is occurring in this market, the rigging of the bond markets, the fact that nobody on any, uh, any of these <laughs> nice people over there, you know who I'm talking about, any one of them, any of those kind of financial channels want to talk about the debt bubble. All they want to talk about is a Bitcoin bubble. All they want to talk about is, I don't know, blow sunshine up your crack. You know that. It's, it, why, do these, why do they exist? I mean, they're true leaders. That's all they are. And uh, it's, 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 it's a sad state to see where, where they, they have reverted to. Some of these people are pretty smart, and I know they get it, but they have to sit there and... Ugh. I mean, it's just too dumb. I can't take it. And then they have these traders sitting there. Some of them are really good. Some of them, I don't. I don't think could even walk and chew gum at the same time. Uh, how could they be trading anything if they're sitting there at a desk talking all day long about garbage? And more than half of the time, they're absolutely wrong. Uh, and I'm more than certain you can attest for that yourself if you watch this stuff. And I'm not just talking about CNBC, oh my lord, the confederacy of dunces. I'm talking about every single one of these things. It's too much. Um, if you're watching this on Steam It, I keep getting questions. Great, can I re-steam this? Please re-steam it. As a matter of fact, if you re-steam my videos, write, if you write a comment, write re-steamed. If you do that, I will, I've been upvoting every single vote that I've gotten and giving you money. Every time I upvote you, you get a few cents. Sometimes it's 20 cents. It depends on, on how my power is running out. You know how this works. But from now on, I am only going to upvote and subsequently give you a few cents if you re-steam my work. One hand washes the other. That's life in the big city. Uh, and let's make this happen. All right, look, with that said, <laughs> please share this video. Get it out there. Use this hashtag. This hashtag. Say that three times fast. This hashtag. I can't even say it once. And uh, I'll see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend, everyone. I love all of you. I mean that with all of my heart. See you Monday. Over now.